Bam. All right, ladies and gentlemen, those you are tuned in with me on this format. This is uh, Dr. Herndon, and I am finally, after years of after years of searching, <laughs> I have a, a, a awesome a pastor on uh, uh, the show today. Uh, he has just got their church got uh, actually pulled in for uh, Church of the Month on the Source uh, Television Network and also on our, our Source newsletter. So um, uh, I'm just wanted to introduce to some uh, in the East Coast that don't know of him, uh, uh, Dr. George Martin. How are you doing this this day, sir? I'm blessed, Dr. Herndon. Uh, God is good, and uh, we're glad to be alive and well, and we're inspired about what God is doing, even in this time of a uh, pandemic. Yeah, and I noticed that you you were um, you were able to still do some churches on the outside. Well, we've been doing church and inside since uh, first Sunday of June and um, doing our uh, COVID protocols and things like that, you know, from temp checks and, and other things, hand sanitizers and, you know, doing all type of social distancing and things like that, but still worshiping the Lord in the beauty of holiness. Amen. Amen. And um, uh, uh, for those who don't know, he is my brother. Uh, and literally, my brother and uh, just uh, we often talk, but we we never really talk on this level, and um, uh, it's a level of just uh, chatting and to introduce uh, the world to him. So, uh, every what church? What is the name of your church? Let the listeners know the name of your church. Uh, the name of our church and ministry is the Greater Victory Church of God in Christ, in San Bernardino, California. Amen. And, and uh, your service, you have uh, uh, you have a 11 a.m. service? Yes. Okay. And you have uh, a, a abundance abundance of other ministers and elders that's that's involved in the ministry, I understand, too. Oh, yes. Yeah, we have several uh, ministers, elders, ministers, and missionaries, women who work in the ministry, who help in the ministry and do a wonderful job. Awesome. That is awesome. So, like I said, I wasn't going to uh, uh, keep you too much time. I just wanted to congratulate you for uh, your church being um, uh, joined and picked for being on our, our television network. It's, it's a new television network that is that is actually actually in operation of started last month. And um, if you want to hear uh, our chat, and if you want to listen to Greater Victory Church of God in Christ, and uh, out of San Bernardino, and you can t- you can tune in at the Source Network, and um, they are they come on on Sundays, and I believe some other time during the middle of the week, and we have their latest messages uh, from their latest to their older messages. Um, with this, do you have any encouraging words, uh, Dr. Martin, from this time uh, for the young people? Because I know you have a young church and a, 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 a balanced out church. Do you have any encouraging words from the time that we're going in right now that you would like to give the young people? Uh, sure, Dr. Herndon. I uh, just want to say firstly, thank you for giving us the honor of being selected as the Church of the Month or what have you in your network. And we're just grateful for that. And we are grateful to you for your stance on the Word of God and on the will of God and promoting the cause of Christ. But I just want to just, if I had anything to say uh, that would really be beneficial uh, to young people, it would be Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of your youth, while the evil days come not in the years draw nigh, when thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them. God is looking for our young people uh, to commit themselves to him because God is committed to all of us because in him we live, we move, we have our being out of the book of Acts. And so I want to just encourage young people to live their lives as if they have something to contribute for the betterment of the world, uh, just in the natural, 
And if you are a Christian or a believing um, saint of God, understand that you have a mission and a commission to tell the world about Jesus Christ, the Savior who came, he lived, he died, he rose again, that we might be able to have life, liberty, and we might be able to tell the dying world that he is the way, the truth, and the life. And that's John 14 and 6. And so I just want to encourage young people, uh, pursue your dreams, and you, hopefully your dreams are in line with the word of God. And if you have those dreams, understand that God is pairing in with you. He knows your dreams. Run them by God. When you have a dream and you have a wish and a desire or a drive for something or even a passion, run it by God through prayer and then see what he has to say about it. Listen for his voice as he teaches you and shares you, shares with you uh, the direction he wants you to go. And that, that'll be perfect then. You'll have your passion and you'll have the will of God paired in together and you can't go wrong. So I want you to be encouraged and I want you to know that God loves you no matter what come or go. Amen. Amen. And uh, now what, uh, I know the Church of God in Christ spread off in districts. Uh, if I'm, uh, what districts are you in, in the Church of God in Christ? Yeah, I'm in the Bountiful Blessings District uh, in Southern California, third jurisdiction under Bishop Roger Thomas. I am the founding um, district superintendent. I founded the Bountiful Blessings District about 14 and a half years ago oh. and god has been blessing us um you know several churches under us and working with us in a fellowship and um we just thank god for now we are continuing to work out and be successful our district missionary is my sister and uh sister-in-law uh dr evelyn tahiru and uh, she's doing a wonderful job over the course of these 14 years or so Amen. And I understand your wife is, uh, she's uh, kind of uh, uh, big out there too in, in the Church of Christ in the state, mothers. Um, yeah, and she's, she's, our, she's our, our supervisor of women right. for our jurisdiction of about 14 churches. And um, she is uh, working with all the women in the, in the jurisdiction. Uh, is under her charge, and she's doing a wonderful job as well. Amen. That's a, 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 a Mother Ida Martin, I believe. That's and, what she will be called in, within the uh, brotherhood and the fellowship. Amen. Ida Martin, or supervisor Ida Martin. Amen. Amen. Well, you guys, you can see they are very busy. They are very busy doing the work for the kingdom of God, and that's what uh, I believe the a lot of the people look for and when they when they throw in names they they um throw in names of pastors that are known but don't know they're that known but are doing uh, a lot of work for for Christ and once again I want to thank uh Dr. Uh, George Martin for being my guest on uh this uh format of this show uh thank you again sir God bless you. God bless you, sir. It's a pleasure talking with you. And uh, we thank God for your lovely wife, Sister Regina. And uh, we're definitely encouraged to pray for the saints of God and pray for the body of Christ particularly. And um, definitely pray for the world and world leadership for this time because we are under siege by many things. The pandemic of COVID-19 and the pandemic of sin. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Uh, if you want to pray, uh, pray us out, sir, and then uh, I can turn it back over to the next, uh, the to the where everything is going on right now at the at, at the station. Thank you, Doctor Herndon, uh, for that honor and privilege. Uh, let's pray, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We do thank you. We praise you for this wonderful day that you've given unto us. We rejoice and we're glad in it. We honor you, Lord, because we are honored, Lord, to have you in our lives because we live in you and we move in you. We have our being. We pray for the world, world leadership. Oh, God, we pray that you will bless kings and kingdoms, presidents and premiers, prime ministers, heads of state, heads of nations. Oh, God, with this chaos and this trouble, we pray, Lord, that you will bring your peace in the hearts of men. Let the word that they've been exposed to, your word, that, Lord, a lamp into our feet, a light into our path. Let it be a stirring on the inside to change the hearts of men, oh, God, from hatred and indifference to love and for embracing the manner 
of what your word has said, that we are all brothers and made of one blood. We pray, oh God, for the body of Christ and churches everywhere, and especially leaders of those churches, that you would touch them and lift them as they cast forth the vision, as they go forth to do your will and your way. Let your hand of protection be about them. Let your glory be revealed. Let the testament that we know is true, oh God, that you have come to save and seeking to save that which is lost. Let it come to pass as we share the word by witness in the life that we live and the service that we give. We pray that you will bless and that you will move by your spirit and save men and women everywhere. Heal their bodies. Raise them up, Lord, from sickness and disease. COVID-19, the Lord rebuke you. And we pray now, Jesus, that you would let the lessons that need to be learned through this that we're going through, through every nation, be learned that you're sovereign. And as your word speaks in, in Psalms 24 and 1, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell therein. Let them come to the knowledge of that, that they might live for you, that they might do things on your terms. And Lord, we'll be blessed by it. And we give you glory and pray. We pray for Dr. Herndon. We pray for his lovely wife and pray for his family, that you will bless them to be successful. Help them to be able to rise up and be about your business and commit themselves to the greater works that you call for in this last and evil day. And Lord, whatever you have in store, we pray that you will bless the man of God to realize and to see those things manifest in his, in his lifetime and in his ministry, Lord. And we thank you for your favor, opening doors and closing doors on behalf of the man of God for your favor. And we declare these things to be so. And it is in Jesus' name that we pray. Thank you, Lord. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. 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 If you guys would like to listen to this podcast, you can tune in at uh, www.skythunderradio.net. Or you can go to my personal website at www.drbyrondherndon.com. And it's playing there as a podcast. And um, I just want to thank you also for those who nominated me again uh, for uh, uh, being a podcast of the year. So uh, just keep me in prayer, Dr. Martin, that the Lord see favor on that. And um, I thank you for your blessing, for blessing us. Our pleasure, sir. God bless you. It's our pleasure to do so. And we thank God for the mighty work and the great work that God is using you to do in this last day. So God bless you, sir. All right. God bless you. I'll talk to you later. Be encouraged. Mm, you too.